gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to tie a tie in case you don't know, because uh, it's important. All the men have to wear a tie at the state conference this year. So there are three different kinds of knots that I'm gonna show you. The first one is what I like to refer to as the junior high knot. You start with the thick end on one side, thick end on the other, you've got the lines down the back of the tie facing you in uh, your mirror. You cross the heavy side over the light side, and then you wrap it around again, and then again. So you've got this basically loop around it with the seam sticking to the thin part of the tie. And you simply throw your tie up underneath, again with the beam now facing away from you, and then you put that down through the knot. Shove it down through, pull the bottom edge a little bit, pull it till it's nice and high, got your knot, and ideally what you're going to want to do is get your tie to the middle of your belt buckle. Throw down your collar, make sure to pull out all the kinks, Tighten your tie again, and also what you want to do is get make sure to have a little dimple. You want two folds, dimple in the middle. This again I refer to as the junior high dance knot because this is the tie that you're going to wear to junior high. Hopefully not the one you're going to wear to the Michigan Coastal State Conference. All right, let's move on to our next tie. Okay, this is tie number two, and this is the one that you pretty much are going to wear fresh out of college. It's called the half Windsor tie. Thick part over the top part, wrap it around once. Again, the, the seam always facing the, the lighter edge. You're going to throw this bottom part up over the top, like so, and you can see you've got the half side of the Windsor there. You throw that seam across the front facing you, which you can see will cause the front of your tie, front of the knot. You throw that seam up underneath and feed it down through. Pull again. Slide the tie, the knot up a little bit. Try to pinch the two ends together, causing that dimple. Make it nice and tight. Take the back end of your tie, throw it into that little loop, pull down your collar, pull out all the kinks, and this one's a little short, um, but again, you've got the dimple, you've got the tip of your tie reaching in the middle of your belt buckle, nice and flat. This is called your half Windsor. It's got a, a kind of a, a, a nice V, but not as full as you want it to be. All right, here we go. Tie number three. This is the one that you guys want to end up tying when you get to the state conference. This is a full Windsor. It will have the uh, both sides of the V before you make the front knot of your tie. Start with your um, the end, uh, the fit, the light end of your tie up nice and high because you're going to be wrapping it around a lot before you eventually end up throwing it all the way down through the front of the knot. Start with the seam of your tie hugging you, so facing you. Throw the fat part of your tie over the light part of your tie. Throw, uh, take the seam, wrap it around, and then throw it up over the top. The seam should be facing away from you. This is what I call the switch at this point. You are gonna take the thin part of your tie and switch it over to your right hand or your left hand. And then now you have the fat part of your tie on the other side. Now same thing that you did on the other side, you're gonna throw that up over the top. So now, you're causing a nice tight V. You've got both sides of your Windsor forming your knot. Take that seam and throw it across the front, making the front of your tie, and then pull it up through the back. The seam should be facing away from you until you throw it down through the front of your tie. And this is where you wanna kinda pull up just a little bit, up here, and then pinch both sides of the tie, causing a little dimple. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. You just hope that it does, and if not, you retie again. 
Retying your knot several times is a, uh, a very normal occurrence, at least it is in my world. Um, I always gauge my day off of how many times I have to tie my knot, so if I, I get it on the first try, I know it's going to be a good day. I am having to tie it about four or five times, I'm kind of curious or uh, skeptical on how the day is going to go. Throw your collar down, cause your dimple, make it nice and tight. Hope that the middle of your tie reaches the middle of your belt buckle. Again, that takes a lot of practice. Um, and then uh, that is a nice, as you can see, nice V that you have going on here on your tie. Nice full knot. Nice and it works well, again, with those modern collars that are kind of really broad. You're definitely going to want a thicker knot. If you, you end up tying the junior high knot with those big, thick collars. Um, that just looks silly, so try to avoid that. Go for the full Windsor. <clears throat> and everyone will be nice and impressed with your, your tie tie. So there you go, that is how you tie three different kinds of knots. Let's try to focus on that last one. It takes a few times to practice, but eventually you'll get it.